house. But I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black? I didn't and fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. <gasps> shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too. Vic. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st America. century. And there was but about I like it old school. Of the air. I haven't kept up with my street. journal as much as I should. You don't have beauty with if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? A beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. My little camera and bag is battered, but still kicking. Of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac. I do on love the my analog camera. If you haven't, shame, shame. I should take a quick picture now. The romantic urban solitude of the I should take a picture poet. to prove I'm still here. Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with South. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shop, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent that really happy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Let's talk later, Max. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a hundred. You always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I'm picture of Jerry's class. class. I feel like you have one of these. Because Matt wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point? She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Kevin doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very to cool. All of you, Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Imagine a world I hate having everybody you. see inside my locker. American girls I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look 
totally fabulous as Driving usual. a car by the seaside Watching the world from the bright side That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. American girls in the movie. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. American Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. It looks like she's been gone for months. I wish October would last forever. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Don't need a PC, miss the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. I cry sometimes, walking around my own place. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Talking about her own place. Somewhere around. I wonder what actually happened to her. No one could try her fountain. Good thing I left my AK at home. That's when I fly. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. It looks like she's been gone for months. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Now who would bother to write that crap? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. This poster must drive people to have sex. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of. Can you I actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, the human time machine. In black and white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again Darian and give him the right answer? Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American Daguerreo... Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody 
has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wowzer, it's happening again. People trying to control I me. need a hammer to break it open. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Never tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? 
Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel.
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skateboard shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a no slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. You never really escape Betty. I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. You can watch us destroy these rails. Brooke actually has a drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. This? Oh, uh...
there's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Matson, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback.
I could go for a burger now. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Uh, she had a good heart. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Okay. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way! You're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Best portrait ever. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Clever.